Hello, welcome to Scrap Time. My name is Christine, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can scrape paint through a template. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your old gift card or hotel keys to scrape paint through a stencil to get a different look. And what I like about it is that you can get layers sort of as you do it. You can see down here, I have sort of the under color and then some of the other color is sitting on top of it and you can get some sort of interesting dimension. I used like a full on picture stencil but this could be really good with texture stencils as well. So I'm using the Dina Wakely mixed media book here, art journal. And I have this page here and I've already put a really thin layer of gesso down on it. I showed you in the previous video how to do that and how thin of a layer you need. You just scrape it on nice and thin. And I have this stencil here I'm going to use. And I'm using the Crafters Workshop Heavy Body Acrylic Paints. And the heavy body paints are great because you can layer the color on top of one another. Now for this technique, I'm going to put some paint right on my craft sheet. I'm using the Candy Apple Red and I'm going to use raspberry sorbet with it, a pink. So I have an old Disney card. This was from, I think, a party we went to at Disney. And all I'm gonna do is gonna start by picking up some paint with my card and scraping it through the stencil. And I can pick up some pink. So I'm not really paying too much attention as to what color paint goes where. I'm just sort of filling in the design. Now you can see when I scrape really hard, I'm removing a lot of the paint, whereas when I just go softly, I'm adding some more paint. And that's where you can really play and have some interesting looks. And by putting the pink on top of the red will also give me um, some different combinations. I might need some more paint. Now if you don't get the whole stencil covered in too, that's fine too. You don't have to cover your whole page. Um, this is more for adding a more of a texture versus design per se. Gonna give me got some more red, a bit more pink. little bit more down in the corner here. Okay, so now that I have the initial paint on, I'm gonna scrape it off in areas and then lie it down in others. Okay, and let's see what we've come up with. Ooh, pretty. So you can see some areas where the paint's thicker and standing up where some where it was scraped and thinner. And just by giving that combination of thick and thin, you can make a really pretty background on a page. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Scrap Time Videos on YouTube. In the meantime, here are a couple other videos you might be interested in watching. See you next time. Bye bye.